Hey, what's going on? Peace, it's your girl Isis Love. Just had a little technical difficulty with my internet, but it's back on and popping. Oh man, I'm just, I'm so happy and grateful right now, you guys. I've been traveling all day, so I literally have been sleeping all day, just really resting up. Um, I've been traveling around, teaching people about the new money app. So today uh, has really just been like a relaxed day, like a pajama day, you know. So um, I'm super excited what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Today I'm going to need you to uh, grab pen and a paper. All right, let me hold this real quick. Today I need you to grab your pen and paper because I'm pulling some stuff up on my computer. Um, because I want you to really hear me out and what I'm about to say. Because sometimes we don't really think about the future, right? And in this essence, you want to think about the now, but the now is going to have a chain reaction of results, right? So I titled this because I want you to think, really think in your mind. Whatever we do right now is going to affect 12 generations ahead of us. What does that mean? Let me give you an example, right? So the Native Americans had a great law of peace, right? A great law of peace, meaning they respected every living thing on this planet, everything. But we as a people, we don't respect every living thing that's on this planet, right? We're off balance with nature. And so um, I titled this because we have to think, when I, when I think about generational wealth, right, I, we mostly think about money and land. When you think about generational wealth, what do you think about? If you could just put it in the comment bar, like what do you think about when you think about generational wealth? And I'm going to uh, just invite some more people in here really quick. Put this message out before I get deep, right? I want you to think about it, though. Put it in the comment bar really, really quick. Success like speed. Like when you think about generational wealth, I'm going to tell you some things I think about. Like, I think about money. I do think about land. Right? That's what I think about when I think about generational wealth. Like, that's what I I think about. But what we really need to realize is that, yes, generational wealth can be in the forms of, yes, you leaving some land or some type of money to your offspring. But also, what are you doing to the planet? See, what we do to the planet today Right? I want y'all to really hear me out. What we do to the planet today, and especially if you have kids, think about this. It's going to affect your the, your kids, your kids' kids, and your kids' kids, and your kids' kids 12 generations forward. That's how serious that is. Let me give you some examples. Plastic. Right? Plastic. We Do you realize that plastic does not decompose? We got to, because we got to really think about this, right? It doesn't decompose. So that means it goes to a landfill, which they send over to a third world country. You could go look this up, Trash Island. This stuff is starting to leak into the ocean. Where do you think, what's going to happen to your kids when they are consumed by all this plastic and trash? I want you to really, really, really think about it. That's what I, you know, that's, that for me, that's generational wealth. Right? Generational wealth. Being able to not just think about how much money and how much land you're going to be leaving to your children, but what are you doing right now in this moment for the planet? Right? And I want to show y'all something really, really quick. I want to show y'all something really, really quick. This, for six months straight, I've been saving this amount of plastic. Six months straight. So I want you to, and this is six months, two people. So imagine how much, you know, plastic you probably use a day with your family, right? That stuff doesn't. So some tips on what you can do is when you go to the store, try to ask for paper bags, right? Or bring your own bags, Right? Because if you don't teach your kids this, the cycle is going to continue. Right? It's the same thing as generational wealth. Because wealth doesn't always have to be in the form of material money, it's knowledge. 
Wealth is knowledge. So start to get you some bags. Take you some brown paper bags to the store. Even when you go places and you know you go to the bulk session section and you're getting like the 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 you're getting the um you're getting the nuts and the berries and you got those little plastic bags and you put your vegetables in the plastic bag, use brown paper bags. You know those sandwich bags you can get from Dollar Tree? Use those. You know what I'm saying? And let me give you some other tips because I got some written down on my computer. But, you know, not even just recycling. It even gets down to think about Pampers. And this is for the parents. You guys, we have to be exposed to this because some of us don't know this. Right, and so you know on my channel, I'm always going to keep it real. And you know I don't play around with generational wealth. Right, and I have to speak about it on many layers because there's multiple layers to this. So, cloth diapers instead of pampers. Do you know that pampers do not decompose? Think about how many kids are being born rapidly on this freaking planet. I mean, think about it. Every time you turn around, somebody's pregnant. Right? Every time you turn around, somebody's pregnant on this planet. So what's happening to the Pampers? So you think you don't? We don't really think anything of it right now in this now moment as we live, but we have to start thinking beyond us. See, right now everything is about me, 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 ego, when it needs to be about us, because without us together as one waking up and taking care of this planet that take care of us we're not even going to realize that the the planet can shake us all off and start all over this planet does not need us this planet can reproduce grow and do everything that it needs to do without us we're nothing special to this planet to be honest it's just doing what it's supposed to do so with that being said we need to share a little bit more homage a little bit more gratitude and thanks mm -hmm. to this earth and realize that what you're doing is affecting 12 generations forward. See, that's why, you know, you know, the name of my community and what I do is called Generation 12. Because everything that we do in this now moment, we're making sure that we are the ones that sets the foundation 12 generations mm -hmm. forward in our bloodline and all around us. Right. So it's little, small, minute things. You know what I'm saying? Like instead of using chemical spray to wash the tub, get something without chemicals, because we, it's, it's, just, it's the smallest thing we don't even realize when we spray these chemical sprays, certain type of things go into the air that we cannot see. And imagine everybody around the world doing it. We already know how the air is right now. So we have to be the change that we want to see. See, when I speak about generational wealth, right, and what I, you know, what my mission is, what my, my community generation 12 is making sure that we really become self-sustainable, right? The thing is, people don't even realize that the government is an illusion. People are just so scared. And so dependent upon the government that they don't even realize they're being manipulated. <laughs> That's freaking deep, right? That's freaking deep, right? It's freaking deep. So we have to come together as a people and realize that we have to start. Like I was, I was at the gas station. This lady smoking a cigarette, right? And then she dropped a cigarette on the ground. Why would you just pick the cigarette up? You don't even realize that, yes, it's one little cigarette, but think about how many people drop cigarettes on the ground and that stuff doesn't decompose. We got to start thinking beyond, family. Right? We got to start thinking beyond. And I, I wrote some other stuff, right? Oh, here's another one. I'm just giving you little tips, right? Spirit just told me to go on because these are some of the things that I really try to do my best. Of course, I'm just learning this. You know, uh, more and more every day on how to do things. But I recycle a lot of different things. Glasses, if p plastic jars, if I end up getting them, I recycle everything. I try to reuse it, reuse it, bags, reuse them. So, um, you know, even with our soaps, I mean, think about it. That soap bottle does not decompose. I can't make this stuff up, family. Go look it up yourself. 
plastic bottles don't decompose. So generational wealth is about being wealthy in the mind enough to see 12 generations ahead of you to know that, yes, this plastic bottle may not affect you right now. But it's going to affect your kids and their kids and their kids' kids. And even if you don't have, uh, have kids, it's still going to affect people, period. Right? So we really need to start looking at stuff like that on a grand scale. Right? We don't even care about this planet. We throw stuff on the ground. We don't even care about each other, right? So um, really, really quick, let me see. Uh, I got another one. Um, So... So not just environment. Let me go ahead and bring that guap in there. It's about money, too. Generational wealth in the sense of money, right? What are you doing right now? Because everything that you do now, everything that you think, everything that you say dictates what's going to happen after. Because everything is a cause and effect. So... What are you doing now financially? Because this is not about you. It's not about you. What are you doing right now financially for your children that is setting them up in a position where they're not going to live paycheck to paycheck? If you're living paycheck to paycheck right now, and I don't say this to bash anybody, I say this to bring this to your awareness In the sense of, we have to wake up, family. Because if you're living paycheck to paycheck, what are you going to be able to, how how are you going to leave a legacy? So we have to do things differently. Because doing the same thing over and over is not going to get us nowhere, right? So generational wealth all the way around. One second, I'm thirsty. This jar right here, I just, uh... Made some pasta earlier, and I took the wrapper off, right? I'm going to clean it off later more, but recycling. So here's here's what I want to do for you, family. This is what I want to do. So you know we speak about assets versus liabilities. What are assets? Assets are things that are going is going to be making money for you. It's not costing you anything. Right, it's not costing you a thing. So we need to start acquiring more assets. And how does that happen? We have to start bringing in more streams of income. Because if we have 12, 13, 14 bills, and we're only bringing in one stream of income, how does that work? The bills are coming in residual. That means you got to have residual incomes to be able to pay those residual bills. Right. So tonight I'm just so super excited, family, because, you know, I've been traveling around teaching people about the money app. This is a real legitimate thing, family. Do you think I'll be traveling around the world teaching people about the app just for shits and giggles? No, this is a legitimate thing that is changing people's lives. And I ask you, what are you doing today? Not, I'm going to do it soon. I'm going to do it next week. I'm going to get it on my next check. Some people said they was going to learn Forex with me. And they said they needed to save the money. Which sometimes people don't have the money on the spot. But some people been saving the money for years. So if it takes you years to save $200, something got to change. They got to be trading, right? That's what I'm saying. They got to be trading. So, family, tonight at 8 o'clock, and please take this serious. It's a free webinar. Hop on, clear your schedule, learn how me, and not just me, countless of others. If you're on this call right now and the money app has trade changed your life, I just want you to... Drop the money signs in the comment bar, right? Because this is heart attack serious, family. This is heart attack serious. This money app is making it do what it do. You know, I just got back from tour, but I'm headed out to Jamaica on the 24th, 25th, and 26th. And I may be taking me one person with me to Jamaica. So I want you guys to be on this call so that you can find out how you can get to Jamaica with me and not just me, 
Also, I'm going to be around a whole bunch of other wealthy individuals on this trip. We're going to be taking the money app all the way to Jamaica, okay? We're going to be in uh, Montego Bay and Kingston. So if you want to have a chance to kick it with some multimillionaires in um, Jamaica, you know, with a pineapple in your mouth or some with some pina colada, right, around some people that's making money because, you know, money is energy. That's another thing, right? If you want to elevate, you cannot continue to surround yourself around people who's not making it do what it do. So you have to change your circle. So I had to change my circle. I mean, family, I was living in a car. I went from A to A to pay. Check my timeline, follow my story all the way back. I was living in a car. So this trading thing is real. <laughs> and no, you don't have to recruit and no, you don't have to sell. You just need to have a cell phone, Wi-Fi, and use 10% of your brain. And you use 10% of your brain when you copy paste in on your timeline, right? So I just wanted to come on here and just... Bring to your awareness that generational wealth is needed. And, oh, yeah, you won one of my Vegas trips? Okay, shout out, shout out to Miss Dominique. She won one of my trips. Yes, the trips are very much real. Um, countless of people have won trips to Cancun. Anybody here want a trip for me anywhere? Cancun, Thailand. Somebody won a trip to Bali last week. So I don't play around with my trips. And the only thing I ask for you to do is simple stuff. Simple stuff. Win trips. Right? So, I'm going to drop the flyer in this comment bar and on my page. Tag as many people that you know that are entrepreneurs. People that are looking to leave their 9 to 5 job. People that are ready to travel. Like, I literally can just go online and book and travel anywhere I want to travel. There's a lot of people that want to do that. It might not be you, but you might know somebody that just want to get up and go and be able to travel. Like, that's a beautiful thing, right? So, tag them in this video so they can watch this and open up their mind. The call is literally starting in 30 minutes, family. Tag the most people on the post that I'm about to post or also in this video and... Stay tuned for the next giveaway. All right. Peace.